In this session, we want to talk about the virtual service account. And this is another type of account that is used to access a service. And usually it's used to access a local service. With the virtual account, there is no configuration for the password. The password works like a computer password. It's automated where there is no configuration of the password by the administrator. It's automated. To use a virtual account for a service, we simply enter into the logon tab, NT service, and the name of the service for the account name. And for the password, we leave it blank. Let's take a look. We're going to click on Tools, Services. Let's look for a service. App Readiness. We're going to right click on App Readiness. And we want to click on properties. We can see that the service name for this service is app readiness. So that's the name that we're going to use. Click on the log on tab and click this account. We want to type the NT service app readiness. So we're going to click on the caps lock. Click in the box and type NT space service slash and the name of the service which was app readiness. So we're going to click on our caps here to turn it off. Then click on and then type app readiness. So shift and A double P shift and R readiness. N E S S. Then we have to delete the password. So we click on delete. And we have to delete the confirm password. So we click on delete. And now we're about to click on OK. So what we would be doing now is reconfiguring the service to use this NT service app readiness as the virtual account. I want you to remember that this is a managed local account. The idea being that the local account password is going to get managed just like the computer account. So we have no password here. There's no intervention on the part of the administrator. So we want to click on OK. We can see here that we're now using the NT service as the logon account. So we would use this virtual account in certain circumstances when we need to use a specific named account but don't need to use one that would generally give access to the network. To recap, if you have a service that needs a defined username, that is a local username, you can create what is called a virtual account by simply configuring the logon value for that service to be equal to the name of that service itself. This is the end of our session on the virtual service account. And I want to thank you for listening.